Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video let's have a look at the easiest way to create a skewed background using the clip path CSS property. So let's go to our code editor and start working on it. Here in my HTML file, I'll add a div element with the class of container. Now let's go and style it. In my CSS file, I have added a simple reset where I've Remove the default margin and padding. Now let's target the container class. I'll give it a height of 100 VH. I'll give it a width of 100% and I'll give it a background color of DEF B36 which is a shade of yellow. Let's have a look at it in the browser. there we have it and finally in order to get the final result we'll be using the clip path property so I'll say clip path and I'll use the polygon shape inside these brackets we need to add something known as the X and the Y coordinates so before we add them let's first understand what the X and Y coordinates are in this diagram the top left corner is the starting point and so the x coordinate is equal to 0 and the y coordinate is also equal to 0. However when I move towards the right I am moving along the x axis and so when I reach the top right corner x becomes 100 and y remains 0 as we have not moved vertically along the y axis. Now when I move down vertically I am moving along the y axis. And finally when I reach the bottom right corner y2 becomes 100% so now this coordinate is 100% on the y axis and 100% on the x axis finally I'm moving back along the x axis and when I reach the bottom left corner x again becomes 0 and y remains 100 so this is how we define the coordinates of a rectangle now let's add these coordinates to the clip part property in our code editor. So the first set of coordinates will be 0 on the x axis space 0 on the y axis. Now add a comma space and now we need to enter the coordinates for the second set. Let's have a look at it. The second set coordinates are 100% on the x axis and 0 on the y. So let's add it. 100% on the x-axis space 0 on the y-axis the third coordinates are 100% on the x and the y-axis so this will be 100% on the x-axis and 100% on the y-axis and finally the fourth coordinate is 0 on the x and 100% on the y-axis so this will be 0 and 100% Now if we check this in the browser, we won't see any changes as these coordinates define a perfect rectangle. However, in order to change this into a skewed background, there's just one small change we need to do. I'll come back to my code editor and in this third set of coordinates, I'll change the Y coordinate from 100% to 70%. Let's go back to our browser. And here you have a skewed background. Now all I've done is instead of coming down 100% I've just come down 70% and this point right here is something that gives us a skewed background. And that is it. That was pretty easy. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then bye bye.